Question 25. A landscape gardener wants to build a garden bed in the shape of a rectangle attached to a quarter circle. Let X and Y be the dimensions of the rectangle in meters, as shown in the diagram. The garden bed is required to have an area of 36 square meters and to have a perimeter which is as small as possible. Let P meters be the perimeter of the garden bed. Part A. Show that P equals 2X plus 72 over X. The first consideration is the area of this composite shape. The area of the rectangle plus the area of the quarter circle is equal to 36 square meters. Now the area of the rectangle is equal to xy, or x multiplied by y, and the area of the quarter circle is pi r squared over 4, where r is equal to x meters, which is the radius of this quarter circle. Now rearranging this equation to make xy the subject, we have xy is equal to 36 minus pi x squared over 4, and dividing all terms by x, we get y is equal to 36 over x minus pi x over 4, and we'll call that equation number 1. Our next consideration is the perimeter of this composite shape. And the perimeter P is equal to 2Y plus 2X plus pi X over 2. So there's Y, there's another Y, that's our 2Y. We have an X here and an X there, so there's the 2X. And we have the curved side here, which is 1 quarter the circumference of a full circle. So that's 2 pi R or 2 pi X divided by 4. And hence why the perimeter here of the quarter circle is pi x over 2, and we'll call that equation number 2. Now we're going to substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2 to eliminate the y variable. So from equation number 2, we have p equals 2. Now instead of the variable y, we're going to substitute 36 over x minus pi x over 4 plus 2x plus pi x over 2. And expanding the brackets, we have p is equal to 72 over x minus pi x over 2 plus 2x plus pi x over 2. And of course, you get some cancellation there and there. And therefore, pi is equal to 2x plus 72 over x as required. Part B. Find the smallest possible perimeter of the garden bed, showing why this is the minimum perimeter. Since the perimeter P can be expressed in terms of X, we can use the first derivative to find the value of X that gives the minimum perimeter. But first we need the first derivative dP dx or P dash. And P dash is equal to 2 minus 72 over X squared. Next we solve for X the equation P dash equals 0 to find any stationary points. So that's 2 minus 72 over X squared equals 0. And multiplying all the terms by X squared we get 2X squared minus 72 equals 0. Dividing all terms by 2, we get x squared minus 36 equals 0, or x squared equals 36, and of course the two solutions there are x equals negative 6 or positive 6, but x needs to be positive since it is a length, it's the width of the rectangle. So therefore, x equals 6 is the only valid solution. But we need to check that x equals 6 gives the minimum perimeter. And we can do that by checking the sine of p dash around x equals 6. And I've summarized those results in a table of values. So at x equals 6, p dash is equal to 0, so that's the stationary point. At x equals 5, so to the left of x equals 6, p dash is equal to negative 22 over 25. So all you need to do is just substitute x equals 5 into the equation for the first derivative. And that's a negative gradient there. And at x equals 7, p dash is equal to 26 over 49. And we can see that that's a positive gradient to the right hand side of x equals 6. So x equals 6 represents the value that gives the minimum perimeter. Now to find the minimum perimeter, we substitute x equals 6 into the equation for perimeter. So perimeter equals 2x plus 72 over x. And substituting x equals 6 into that equation, we get p equals 2 multiplied by 6 plus 72 over 6, which equals 24 meters. And therefore, the minimum perimeter for the garden bed to have an area of 36 square meters is 24 meters.